everybody, this is KBT Gaming, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. This does have something to do with Minecraft on Pocket Edition, which I love to play. So what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do is basically how to get your own custom skins. So um, people have different ways of doing this, but um, I have my own way, and this is the way that most people do, so I'm going to show you guys what I do and how I get my custom skins that I love to use. So first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go onto the app store. And you're going to want to go to search. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search Minecraft. Sorry, I'm a fast typer. Oh, darn. You can see that I'm searching here. And then you're going to go Minecraft custom. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Uh, custom, wait, is this blue with O? Yes, Minecraft, custom, and then you're going to go skins. And then you're going to search that. So as you can see, there pops up some of these things. So I'm going to show you which app you're going to want to get. Um, so we're just going to, did I search up the wrong thing? Maybe I did. Let's just search up Minecraft Custom. Let's see if that works. Minecraft skins. Let's try to search that up. And let's see if this is going to work. Here we go. So this is the app that you're going to want to get. It is called Skin Editor from Minecraft Edition. So you're going to want to buy that. So I, as you can see, I've already bought it. It is free, so there's no payment that you have to pay for anything. And then I'm going to go to the app, which looks like this. And as you can see when you get there, you, oh, as you can see when you get there, you have new skins, my skins, public gallery, ugh, public um, gallery, profile, news, and about. So if you're going to want to create your skin straight away, which I love to do, you're going to want to click on new skin. And then I don't like to start out with a blank skin because it's really complicated to try to do like the eyes and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from skin website. Now the best website to start out with, I think, is going to be Minecraft XL. So once you go into Minecraft XL, I will show you how to download a skin. So you're just going to have to scroll down once it get there, gets there. It'll start to kind of load. So then you have all these skins that you can just look through and just play with, you know. So once you've found the skin that you like, I'm just going to click on this one just because it's just random. Once you find it, you'll have to scroll down and just like a little bit more and it'll tell you what you're getting right there at the top. And then there you go. It kind of shows you what the skin is like, which is really helpful. So as you can see, there are little words right there. And so you can see that it says download the skin. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the download. And it will make this blue little box. And it will say, do you want to use this skin? Yes, you do. So you're going to click use skin. And then once you get there, you're just going to have to name it. So I'll just go KBT random. <laughs> that's what I love to do. So honestly, um, it says how you'd like to like edit it, you know? So I think that it's way easier in 2D because in 3D you can't really do a lot. So you just go into 2D and then you get to see your just what you've picked. So what you can do is you can go into your face and, you, and then you can go to the front. And then you can see this face, which is her face. And so what you can do is you can do just regular. So like you can see the color, you can just click on the color and then you can go to more colors. It'll show you that. You can also go to recently used ones, which I find really helpful. Um, and then you can just, you just tap on it, which is like not really quick, but you can also drag. So you can tap and drag to just fill it all up if you want the whole face green or whatever. And so um, this, so right, as you can see, I'm on the paintbrush plus. If you go to the paintbrush minus, you just click on it and then it will just erase it completely. So you can just erase all over here and you can tap on it for those little details. Um, then you can see it's kind of erased. So you can see right there. 
So then what you can do is you can go to this little drop right here, but I'll explain that later. So the spray, the spray can, this is one of my favorite things to use in this app. So the spray can, basically what you can do is you just touch and you drag, and then you'll see it'll get black. Well, almost black, like a greenish black. So what you do is you can just drag, and you have to keep dragging on it for a little while to get the color. So, as you can see on some of the skins that you see, you can see different, like, shades of a certain color. And it's always really hard on the more colors. So you just go to the spray can with your color that you want, and you just, to get the lighter, you just keep on having to drag over the um, your color. Or you can just tap on it like usual. And this app is a little glitchy, so sometimes when you tap on it, it won't go. But you just have to wait, and then it'll start to work again. Because a lot of people do use this, so it'll be a little bit glitchy, but that's always okay because it won't take a really long time. So now after you're, you can do that. So sometimes whenever I go to like on the spray can and I find a shade of something that I really, really like, sometimes I can't get that color in the more colors. So what you can do is you click that little dropper right there, as you can see on the top of the screen, and then you just click the color that you like and then as you can see it'll change the color so like if I liked this color or this color like I could just it just automatically lets you get that color which I find really helpful for getting different shades that I really like and then obviously you can that is also used as recently used colors and so then also when you go into the colors you can see like shades which are really helpful too so yeah, that's basically what you can do with a face, and also, if you see this little grid at the very, very corner right there, you can kind of see it. You just have to click that, and then it'll ungrid it. So as you can see, I just grid, ungrid. So I find it a little bit easier with the grid, but then I can take it off just to see, to edit it a little bit more better, if you know what I mean. So you can go back to the head. You have the front, the right, the left, the top, the bottom, and the back. So you have like full everything. And as you can see, you just go to the arms and all that kind of stuff. And so what you can do is you can go to that little eye that you just saw right there. And you can see your character. And then you can just like move it around. It's kind of weird what you can do. But yeah, you can just like move it around and just kind of see what you like the, your very best. And then if you go back. What you can do, so it, when you're, um, uh, 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 sorry, messed up. Um, so when you go to the clothes, you can see what kind of clothes that you have on, and sometimes it shows like little um, hair, which is not a problem at all because it'll just stick out a little bit. Like DGDM when he has his goggles, that is clothes. So you can just use that like this, and then you can just do the original thing that you would always do. And so then, yeah. So when you go back too far on accident, you go, whoopsies, well, all you have to do is just go back to the main screen, go to My Skins, and then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there it is again, so you can um, edit in 2D, edit in 3D, and just do all that editing stuff. Now, when you're ready to upload, all you have to do is click this little upload button right there, and it'll say when you want, to, where you want to upload it to. Now, I always upload it to my photo library. So it'll say saves, and it'll say that it's a little blurry uh, in your photos, but when it goes into Minecraft, it'll be perfect. So now if you go app, um, out, you just go back to Minecraft. You don't even have to look at the camera because you don't. it's just not needed. So then if you just click right here, and then you go to skins, and then you can go to this, which it says browse for me because I've already done custom. So you just go to all photos, and then you're going to want to go to here. And then you can just click either one. It doesn't really matter um, which one you pick. I just like to pick this, and then there you go. There is your new custom skin. And this app is actually called Skin Editor. You can see it at the very, very bottom right there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and stay tuned if you want to see more of me, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, bye!